Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch, and this is the Orient Blu-ray 2. Yeah, I really, really like this watch, and for many reasons. And I was one of those guys that uh, was all about that day pusher, and I kind of complained to my friends, like, oh, why did they do that? They're taking it away. Just complaining, because I'm a complainer. And, uh, and now that I have it, I've had it for about a month, and now that I've had it, it's just like... You know what? It's okay without that day pusher. You know, it's I'll live with it, and it's because it's it's a better watch. It is a better watch. They've actually improved it. Now, I still wear the Blu-ray one because of that day pusher. It does have a little bit more character, in my opinion. This one is just more. It's it's more of a standard watch, but this one does. I do feel like the Blu-ray one does have a little bit of character with that extra day pusher, which, by the way, is is a an added effect to a, a move a movement that didn't have a day function, and Orient just kind of added that on with. Uh, it was kind of a crutch, but it worked, and it worked for a long time, and the sales were good, and uh, I guess a lot of people have these, and they're affordable, and so did I. I bought that same thing, but. Uh, I decided to get this one, give it a go, and I'm really glad that I did because I really, really like it. Before we get into the differences between these two, let me talk about this watch. Uh, this has the uh, model number of FAA 02005. These nuts! <laughs> and it uses Orient's F6922 automatic mechanical movement. It is it employs 22 joules. Beats at 21,600 BPH with the power reserve about 40 hours. And the movement is supposed to be more robust than the previous 46943 movement in the uh, original Ray and uh, Mako, Mako, whatever you want to call it, series. And um, it's just, it, I guess it makes it a better dive watch. And especially so because of the lack of the day pusher. That, that adds uh, twice the possible. Uh, Two times the failure points, just in case you know that you get you get more chances of getting water in there when you have two versus one. <laughs> uh, stupid. So uh, it is a 200 meter water resistant watch, just like the Blu-ray one, but this one is just more. It's more 200 meter water resistant because it's it's better. So it's more 200 meter water resistant than the than the blu-ray one. Oh, I like that. I like I like when that that's kind of that that I like that I like when the ooh, the focus change. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah I'm an idiot. Okay <laughs> So let's see Differences boom obvious difference that dial though the blu-ray 2 on the left is a deeper blue dial It's deeper and my opinion a bit nicer the the blu-ray one is a kind of tinge more purpley and a little bit more subdued in this camera uh, the, the these uh, dials are a bit more bright and more exaggerated just like everybody else's videos I've seen this watch that for some reason this is a very photogenic watch the dial is coming out strong and nice it's a little bit it's a little bit darker in real life in the Sun though it's brilliant the Blu-ray Run has a 60-click bezel, whereas the Blu-ray 2 has a 120-click bezel. And, you know, I, it's not my favorite clicky. It's actually kind of, it's a little bit difficult to get it around. And uh, you got to kind of grip it really hard. And that's what she said. And um, it's just not my favorite. It doesn't give me, like, a really super satisfying click. And some people would like that. You know, I'm one of those guys that love that satisfying clickety clickety this one is not very satisfying to me and neither is the the blu-ray one because mine is like dirty as crap and stuck uh, but the blu-ray run actually it actually feels better to me this one's kind of stuck I got I gotta clean it but uh, yeah both of these were never my favorite clickety clicks anyway the small small detail that I don't, don't like about it the the bezel inserts on the Blu-ray one are actually a bit shinier. Let me get rid of the 10 billion fingerprints I just put on it. Actually a bit shinier. As you can see, uh, 
as you can see right there. I don't know, maybe can you see it? Look at, look at that reflection on the Blu-ray. And then uh, look at the reflection on the Blu-ray too. Yeah, I don't know, you can't really see it, but trust me, it, the Blu-ray 2 is shiner, and as a result, it's more prone to scratching versus the Blu-ray 2. It's not too much. Uh, other than that, the dial seems pretty similar. There doesn't seem to be too many differences. The hands are the same. The orange tip second hand is the same. The logo seems the same. The loom and the markers and the, the rings around the markers seem the same. The date window seems the same. Chapter ring seems about the same. It's, everything's about the same. The bezel is thicker, or it is thicker slightly, so the crystal doesn't protrude as much. Can you see it? It doesn't protrude as much as the Blu-ray one. And the, the edge of the bezel is slightly different. The Blu-ray two is a little bit more aggressive. The bracelet is exactly the same. There is no change in the bracelet, and I am glad because I like this bracelet. Uh, I really like it. It's so shiny. It makes the so shiny people, and uh, <laughs> and it, it's a good choice. I, I one of my favorite bracelets on any watch, and I love it. It it is it is solid linked, uh, solidly linked, and uh, the end links are hollow though. That's a, that's you know that's kind of a bummer, but oh well, it's not a, it's that big of a deal. The case back is exactly the same as the Blu-ray one. And other race series and other the other dive series the older ones and uh, it's pretty good so you guys want to see the movement oh wait before you do that let's uh, talk about this the case on the blu-ray one is actually a little bit different it's a, it has a little slight bevel to it uh, let me get the light let me get that light in there there you see that that mm. see that the way there you go that that the way that that light's reflecting off that one piece of that bevel right there. Uh, the the Blu-ray 2 does not have that. There you go. That's a good angle. You can see that bevel. The Blu-ray 2 does not have that. It's a little bit more sharp. See? It's a it's just way more sharp. There's not that bevel. And I kind of like that about the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray 1. It, that's It's a little bit... It's a, it's a little bit more refined. So th th there is definitely, to me, a little bit more character in the Blu-ray one. But I like this one better because of that hackable and windable movement. I should have mentioned that in the first part of the video, but it is a hackable and windable movement, which is a very good thing. Hey, you want to see the uh, inside? So to save time, I've already taken off the case back so you can see this movement. You can see that, uh, that Orient rotor, the Orient logo, and dressed logo, uh, dressed rotor. <laughs> uh, pretty good job. I was very surprised to see that. And uh, there's the movement. Nothing that special. And uh, clearly see that it says 22 joules. And, uh, you know, there it is. That's all there is to it. <laughs> anyway, what else can we say? Put it on my wrist? Yeah, why not? My wrist is now about 6.2. Five inches because I lost 10 pounds in, uh, since the beginning of the year because changed my diet only eating vegetables and meat and uh, I lost 10 pounds so it looks really good I love the way it looks I love the way it feels it's not too big it's not too small it's a little thick but you know it's a dive watch and I really really appreciate what they've done the little things that they've done and I've always liked this thick bracelet. I don't like bracelets that taper off too much. That's just my personal preference. And it is the so shiny people. <laughs> if you like shiny watches, the Blu-ray and the Blu-ray 2 uh, are great choices. Or, or the Ray or the, the other ones in the series. Uh, great choices. Great, great choices. I really like it. So let's get to the dimensions. Uh, for the case, I got 41.5 millimeters and for the uh, lug to lug I got 46.9 let's just call it 47 millimeters lug width 22 millimeters and it's about 13 millimeters thick I got a little over 13 millimeters and that's the uh, ow. <laughs> ow that's the measurements so let's check out the loom so for this one I'm gonna use my even smaller light this is the XTAR WK40 Three, 
I have the 41, which is slightly bigger. I just got this. This thing is killer. I really like it. And I'm going to put the Blu-ray 2 on a watch sofa. And uh, get it all nice there. And put the Blu-ray 1 on a watch sofa. I'm going to put that right next to it. Would you just look at that? They're brothers in... Okay. And well, let's, we might as well we might as well do this. I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get the Seiko Seiko monster. I'm gonna bust out that that orange monster and put it right in the middle. Yeah. All right. You notice that I've done I've tried really hard to get all the all of them all synchronized. Yeah. <laughs> I figure I might as well take this stuff seriously. So I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. I'm not perfect, but I'm trying. Okay. So, let's put it up to ISO 1600 to better represent what I'm seeing with my face balls. And make it the super bright mode. And just give it a little love, just give it a little love, just give it a little love. Blinding it with pimp light. Pimp and light. The reflection is going to my eyeballs and I'm getting blind. So, here we go. There you go. Nope, I'm, some people might think I favor the, 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 the monster, and I'm going to just do that. Ha! ha sucker! <laughs> okay, so as you can see there, I don't know, I can't see it because I'm blinded right now, but I, I just see a big smudge in, in, the, in the thing, but as you can see there, uh, it's probably good. <laughs> oh, there, now I can see. So, Blu-ray 2 on the left, right here, pretty good. Blu-ray uh, Blu one on the right, and in the middle, the orange monster. So really good loom. They're not uh, they're not too shabby. And you know, I used to think that the Blu-ray and the uh, the, the race. Ooh, is that a is that a lady that messaged me? Nope, uh, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Dang it! I got a bill to pay. <laughs> it's never a lady. Well, it's usually not. Really. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, that's the loom. It looks good. I um. I uh, I flash this Blu-ray too, before uh, right when I leave work at night and what's that? Right when I leave work at night and it takes me about twenty. Uh, no, it takes me about eleven. No, it takes me about twenty minutes to get home and it's still I can still see it uh, when I when I get home. So it, it's good and obviously it's still they're all still glowy. The Blu-ray. One looks a little bit dim, but it could be because it's older and I've probably blasted it with light 300,000 times. So, that's that. Back to the hotel with the ISO setting and move these away and put this one back. So, would I recommend this watch? Absolutely, absolutely. I would love to see people wearing this watch. Um, my... Uh, my buddy at work bought the black version unbeknownst to me and I saw it on his wrist one day. I was like, yo, what's up? How come you tell me? He was all he was all happy. He was like, you noticed. <laughs> but uh, he got that and he's very picky about watches and he likes it. So uh, you you should get it if you're thinking about it. Just go for it. The price is right. You're getting a great watch and uh, go for it. That's my review. Thanks for watching. <laughs>